Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look into your recent past, your current energy and your future and we're going to see what the universe would like you to know. I also do personal readings so if you'd like to book one I'll leave my website in the description and you can check it out. But let's begin today's reading. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. What does Scorpio need to know at this time? Okay, in your recent past we have Strength, The Magician, The Three of Swords and The Hermit. Okay, we've got three major arcanas. There's something that you've experienced recently that is very powerful. I feel like it's not been easy though, with the Three of Swords being here and the Strength card. There is this need to separate yourself from a situation that was draining you quite a lot. And I feel like you didn't realise just how much this was having an impact on you. It could have been impacting your work, impacting like how you're taking care of yourself, your goals. But there's something here that's happened recently where you understand that you need to take a step back and you need to go within. I do feel like this was a connection that you were dealing with. The Three of Swords being here, it's like your mind versus your heart. I think there was somebody in your life that had two sides to them. This could be somebody that when you first met them, you felt like they had a lot to offer you, a lot to bring to the table. You know, they may have charmed you. They may have seemed like they were somebody that was like very kind, very loving, but I think as time went on, you started to see a different side to this person. With the swords being here, this is a lot of overthinking, fears holding you back. This person may have started to make you doubt yourself in some way, Scorpio. It may have felt like no matter what you did, it wasn't enough or you weren't. Like you weren't able to focus on your own needs while you were involved with this situation. Because with the magician being here, it's like you have all of the tools that you need to create something that you want. Like you're more than capable. You have every single thing that you need. But it's like you couldn't see it. You were blocked from seeing it. So I feel like this was something that was holding you back. It was distracting you from your path, from your destiny. It's like you had this purpose. There was something that you you wanted to create in your life. And I feel like this person, it's almost like they showed up as a test. A test to see how much you'll respect yourself, how you'll choose yourself. You may have not spoke to many people about this as well with the hermit being here. The hermit is somebody that goes within, somebody that takes time to heal. I think you know that you're the person that has the answers to this. Like you're the only one who truly knows how you feel in this situation and what you're dealing with. But there is this hidden energy here where I feel like, like you're not seeing just how capable you are. You know that you had to figure this out for yourself and I feel like that's why you... Like you started to go within, you took a step back. There is this distance here that I'm feeling. But this was somebody that was very manipulative. I feel like they had two sides of themselves and one part of them you may have felt like you really connected with and they understood you. And then the other part, it's like they... Yeah, it's like they took advantage of this. They... Like they may have tried to hurt you in some way or like picked on your weaknesses, like things that you opened up about, things that you were vulnerable about. This person may have attacked you like personally, like when it comes to that type of thing. 
that they may have, say for instance, you open up to them about something that really hurt you in the past. It's like they knew how to use that in the future, like when they wanted to get a reaction out of you. We have a major challenge to overcome. Pin a new job slash career. Pig, beware of greed. Okay. So some of you may be thinking about changing your job, having a fresh start when it comes to your career. This could be what the magician's tied up to you. Like It's like you, you want to start something new. You want to create this new opportunity, but you're doubting your abilities. You're doubting whether you could actually make it work. I feel like you also can't base it on money. You can't base it on like doing something purely for the money side of it. Some of you may be in a job that like is bringing you in money, but you're not actually passionate about it. Beware of greed. It's like you may need to take some type of pay cut in order to create something bigger and better that will be more successful in the future. But you have to have faith. Let's look at your current energy, current messages for Scorpio. We have the full, the queen of wands, Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay. I feel like you've got this new fire in you. It's like there's this motivation. You may be feeling a lot more confident. You may be feeling like you're ready to take on a challenge. You're allowing yourself to be present in the moment as well. You're not getting caught up in your head anymore. And you're proud of yourself. For the Page of Pentacles, there's some type of achievement. And I feel like you're starting to see the progress. You're seeing that you can do this. You can make this work. There's this independence here as well. I feel like that's shocked the person that you've distanced yourself from. It's like they're shocked that you're doing all of this, that you're able to kind of just get back up again and not let this hold you back. Some of you could have been dealing with somebody that was very manipulative, that could have had like narcissistic traits. Because from what I can feel here, it's like there's this energy of them looking at you, looking at this achievement, looking at how you're enjoying yourself, how you're being in the moment, how you're just almost like this free spirit. That's the energy that I get, you know, very focused on your desires, on your passions, on what you can create. There's this creative energy about you. And I feel like this person is kind of looking at it and they're, they're surprised. They're surprised that you're able to like enjoy yourself and just let go. It's like they expected you to be a little bit more hurt or to let this hold you back. We have step out of your comfort zone. Communication is key and your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so I feel like you're ready. It's like you're ready to just take this leap of faith and go towards something that is different, something that is not comfortable to you, something that does make you feel a little bit like on edge. But it's like you're ready for that. You're ready to step outside of your comfort zone and do something new. A message coming out is to try and get like a plan in order. Make sure you communicate what it is that you want from something. I feel like there could be an opportunity in business, but you need to be open. You need to say what it is that you want. Like for example, if some of you want a promotion or you want a pay rise, like you need to be very upfront and honest about it. But I feel like there's this... There's this part of you at the moment that is just letting yourself enjoy where you are. And I feel like a message from spirit is to, like, don't get too ahead of yourself. Make sure that you have a plan in place as well. It's like you've gone from one extreme to the other. Like you was, I feel like you were in your comfort zone for so long. You didn't want to step outside of it. And now it's like you're just, there's nothing that can hold you back. You're ready to just take leaps of faith. I just heard, like, what's there to lose? 
Like, why not? So you might have this attitude right now where you're open. You're open to new opportunities. You're open to doing things that in the past you may have not expected yourself to do. What is coming up for Scorpio? We have the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Chariot. Finding balance in your life, finding a routine that works for you. I feel like you're going to be saving your money or investing your money. It's like you're really, you're very, um, like very practical when it comes to your spending. Like you're looking at where you're spending the most money and then you're cutting back on things. You're looking at what's necessary and you're making changes. Some of you may want like financial security. You don't want to just spend all your money. You know, you want to save. You want to make sure that you've got something behind you. There is success here though. You're going to be putting your mind to something and it's going to be successful. There's definitely somebody that just does not understand how you've moved on from something. They don't understand how you've just let it go. It's like they expected you to just hold on to this, even though it wasn't working for you, even though it wasn't making you happy. They expected you to always be there. I feel like it's this connection that you've moved on from. They really thought they had some type of hold on you or they were able to, like, they were able to get in your head and make you see yourself in a certain way. You were dealing with somebody that didn't want you to see your potential. They didn't want you to grow. They wanted you to stay exactly where you were. And I think it's because that person that you were dealing with, they don't take leaps of faith. They don't, they have like a lot of insecurity in themselves. And I feel like that's why they project that onto you. But you're moving on from this. You really are. If you feel like at the moment you're still kind of caught up on something or you're still holding on, just know that you're not going to feel that way much longer. You're really not. You're literally over it. You're not having any emotion towards it. And I feel like it's because you're seeing, like once you're out of it, you start to see just how unhealthy it was and how it just was not meant for you. Future messages for Scorpio. What is coming up for Scorpio? We have spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. Cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. Okay. So there's somebody here that is starting to see exactly what it is that they've lost. I feel like they're realising that you're not there anymore. Like you're not going to be there to pick up all of the pieces. I think this was somebody that relied on you a lot. They always thought that you were just going to be there to help them when they needed saving and I think you've had enough of it you weren't happy you weren't satisfied and I feel like you had to let go of this person for that reason like you had to prioritize yourself not their problems and their needs but I feel like this person that they just they're starting to realize how much you added to their life they're starting to see that actually you know, like, even though they would blame you for things, they're starting to see that they are the problem, like, they need to, they need to fix what it is that they're not happy with. Now, we have, you are on the right aspect in some, in some part of your life. You're going to know, when there's something that is meant for you, there will be signs that you'll start to notice that things are flowing, you know, there's just, like, good things keep happening, good luck is around you. Little moments where you'll just know that it was spirit sending you a sign. There's somebody here that's going to have their eye on you as well, Scorpio. Compliments from admirer. There's somebody here that's looking at you and they admire you. I feel like this is somebody that you're going to be meeting. 
This is tied up to work, tied up to something about your hard work. Some of you may be meeting somebody through work or through a job. If not, then this person can see something that you're creating and I feel like that's what draws you to them and draws them to you, sorry. It's like they can see what you've built. They can see like the type of person that you are and how you pour everything into your passions. And I feel like that's something that they like, admire about you. Let's get a couple more cards to close off this reading. Final messages for Scorpio. We have adjustments are required and luck is on your side. What did I just say? There's definitely going to be some good luck coming into your life. Adjustments are required. I feel like you're ready to make a change in your life that you've been putting off for a long time. Like I said, you were in a situation that was very comfortable, but you're ready for something new. It's like you... You're ready to take that leap of faith. You're ready to take a risk. I feel like a lot of you are going to be doing something new, like when it comes to a skill, learning some type of knowledge. Some of you may be like going back to education or doing some type of course. Learning something new. There's definitely like this image I keep getting of you focused. Like I keep seeing like a lot of writing or a lot of planning. Um, books like I feel like you're going to be really focusing on something but yeah luck is on your side when you're on the right path you'll start to see it you'll start to see I hope that you enjoyed this reading Scorpio please let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next one bye